I'm George Russell filling in for Kate Delaney, who is in beautiful 85 degree uh, Hawaii. I spoke to her about four hours ago, and she's uh, snorkeling with turtles. Uh, while I'm freezing over here in five degree weather at uh, two o'clock in the morning. But I have something special for you. You know, I am a car buff. I've been a car buff my whole life since I was a kid. Um, I learn about them still today. And I, this time of the year, I always get excited, too, because the car shows come out and all the new stuff comes out. And technology is far beyond anything that I had thought. And I'm sure Henry Ford thought way back when. But I found a gentleman that uh, has taken it to a whole different level when it comes to repairing cars and cars in general. And his name is Eric. And uh, he has a, I don't know what you call it, but he has a YouTube channel. And his name is, guess what? Eric the Car Guy. <laughs> Eric the Car Guy, welcome to the Kate Delaney Thank America show, uh, Tonight Show, and I'm George. Thank you very much. Now, first, before we get there, I want to know who gave you the label Eric the Car Guy. I gave me the label Eric the Car Guy. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> well, let, let's put it this way. My mom named me Eric, and I took the car guy and added it on there. Uh, so I guess, did you go to school for uh, automotive repair or anything when you were younger? Indeed, I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to school at uh, Rosedale Technical Institute in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, and I had a really great time there. They gave me just what I needed to, to basically start out as a as a technician in the field, and I did really well. And besides what you learn in the school, it's a whole different ball game when you're out there turning nuts and bolts, isn't it? It's That's absolutely correct. I mean, school was like the foundation, and then you build on that with the experience, which pretty much means you broke a lot of stuff and learned what not to do. <laughs> and spent a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and on tools. Yeah. I forget about how, how long have you been, uh, you know, working on cars? Well, honestly... Uh, was working on my bikes as a kid and I started working on cars actually before I could drive when I was about 15 so it was just something I just always had an affinity for I always just felt comfortable being dirty and playing with old rusty things so I would assume that right after school you went to work um, in the automotive industry for, for someone uh, right? I, was, I was actually fortunate enough to get a job before I actually finished before I actually graduated so Be- because of your fact pro- because of your proficiency Eric the car guy that's why. <laughs> You know, you, you want to say something like that, but uh, uh-huh. the truth actually is, is I actually got fired from uh, a job for working on cars on the weekends. I was actually only supposed to be pumping gas at the gas station, <laughs> but uh, somebody came in on a weekend when nobody was there, said that they had problems with their brakes. I said, no problem, I'll help you. Boss found out about it. Next thing I know, I was looking for a job. So, yeah. Well, you, you're, not, you're definitely not as old as I am, because uh, you don't remember the days that we were they were pumping gas and they were actually... Washing your windshield and checking your oil, do you? Did they do? Actually, that was me. That was you? Okay. I had that job. But then you went I a little further job. and decided to do brakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, it was it was sort of like that because I got to tell you, if, if you ever want to see the world, sometimes just staying in one place, you can see many, many things. And, and where I used to work is no longer there anymore. But it was one of the last full-service gas stations. And all kinds of people would come in there from all different walks of life and you know, I got a chance to know them through their cars. It's interesting how people wear their wear their cars like clothes sometimes, mm-hmm. and, and I sort of got a feel for the people and their cars with that job. So, in a way, it kind of laid the foundation for everything that came after. I'm George Russell speaking with Eric the Car Guy, uh, filling in for Kate Delaney on America Tonight. Thanks for uh, being with us. We appreciate it. So, like most people that go out on their own, you decided to go out on your own. Uh, in a way, I was kind of forced out. Um, I was working at the dealership, and one thing led to another. I got involved with somebody who actually was doing some not-so-great things at the dealership, and management decided that I was tied into this person, so they let us both go on the same day. Mm. After that, I decided, well, you know, uh, I'm not so... I, I was kind of a little just... I just didn't want to get back into the repair industry. I wanted to do something else. And actually, for a time before I was let go, I was uh, working in video production. I started my own video production company. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, working, uh, videotaping weddings, doing some corporate things. And, you know, I w- wasn't doing great with it. It was something to do on weekends, but I really had a passion for it. Yeah, so, but, that, then, ex- uh, but that experience, along with your automotive experience, has come into Eric the Car Guy with hundreds of thousands of views with your videos on how to repair cars because you use your video proficiency with the automotive. And uh, look, look at the recipe. You got it. 
You got it. That, that's exactly, that was exactly what happened with the video production experience and the mechanical experience. I decided to take the two and put them together. And that's when Eric the Car Guy was born. Okay, but, you know, not only do you do that, and there's a lot of people that do do them, um, but you have a talent to teach. Uh, you speak well, and you're very good at what you do. And the one thing that I really admire is you're not throwing stuff. Uh, you haven't, <laughs> there's no swearing. <laughs> you haven't lost your mind. Uh, you have tackled some major jobs, and along the way, you're talking and you're teaching. And I, you know, I don't really think you know how many people you've actually helped. Because of all the ones that may comment and write to you, there's a hundred thousand that don't, you know. Well, I, I appreciate every one of them because they've allowed me to do the very thing that I do today. So for me, it's a two way street. As much as I've helped them, they've helped me as well, and I'm in a much better place now being Eric the Car Guy than I was being a technician, and it's something I, I feel very passionate about, and like I said, very grateful for, for being where I am and doing what I do. But you are a technician still. I mean, you just not don't... Exactly. Huh? No, no, I don't really consider myself a technician anymore, because I don't get up every day and, and work on cars. I, I basically manage and, and run Eric the Car Guy, which... Honestly, is a job in and of itself, trust me. But you have to work on cars if you're going to keep Eric the car guy. Oh, I do. I do. And I have plans to work on more. In fact, um, I'm, I'm kind of going to be looking for a cameraman here pretty soon so I can actually... Oh, you know, no. We're, we're ex- now you're growing. You're growing now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be great. It would be great, you know, because, I, you know, working on cars is one thing. Filming working on cars is something different altogether. Oh, I Doing watched both. one of them when you, were, you you put one of those those new helmet cams on. <laughs> Listen, you might not think you're funny sometimes, but I find some of the stuff hilarious. I'm I'm dying over here watching some of them. <laughs> you know, I try to tell my wife that all the time, and you know, there are times when I guess my humor doesn't go over too well. No, you got to you got to get it. You know, and the whole thing it's just like me. I'm filling in for Kate Delaney. All of her listeners that are used to them, they're probably ready to throw me off off the radio. But you know. Once you get to know somebody a little bit, you know, uh, you get to see yeah. it. You get you get to see it, and then you buy into it. But I, but but personally speaking, I think there there are hundreds of people that can learn the simplest things from watching your videos that they don't have to go out and spend an arm and a leg on. And that was the objective of this whole thing. You can do a lot and save a lot of money, and everybody knows that things are tight these days with cars, even though they're becoming a little bit more technical than you and I probably ever thought they would. You know. Well, I'm, I'm trying to demystify that, and that's that's part of the whole philosophy behind my tagline of stay dirty. It's it's not so much a, a physical state of being. It's more of a state of mind. Yeah. It's the fact that, you know, if, if you apply yourself and you have a bit of understanding with what you're doing, you, you, you might be surprised at what you're capable of, and, and that's that's what I'm about. I'm, a, I'm an enabler, if you will, and I just try to... I just try to put it out there so that the people can take the information, especially the people that, that can't afford auto repair. Well, and, you're, you're a super nice guy, very approachable. Uh, I would, you know, I imagine, you know, you do, you, you, you've you started a thing now where you do a question and answers. Uh, I mean, this is a full-time gig, man. I mean, you've got it to well, the point right now where <laughs> if you didn't want to take a break, you wouldn't have to have take a break. Well, I, you know, I took a break recently, and I almost regret it because uh, it took me two weeks to catch up after taking two weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> you have so, created a Frankenstein, dude. In a, in a way, in a uh, way, yeah. Eric but, the Frankenstein. Like said, yeah, but, well, like I said, it's it's really worked out, and I'm I'm really I'm really grateful to be doing what I'm doing because I got to tell you, it's awesome. So, if anybody wants to go and visit your YouTube channel, what is it anyway? It's Eric the Car Guy. And you have a website. Indeed, ericthecarguy.com. And is there any difference between the two? Um, well, the YouTube videos are basically where a lot of the discovery happens. That's where a lot of people find me. But what I've done is I've spent a great deal of time, effort, and money, along with my web developer, Wyatt Tally, to try to put together uh, a place where people could go and get answers. Because one of the things that I ran into, you know, not long after I started doing this was, uh, an email box that was just completely overflowing. There are a lot of people out there looking for individualized help, and you know they're all asking me these things, and there's only one of me, but there's a whole lot of them. Mm. So what I did was I tried to make EricTheCarGuy.com a place where they could go, they could get answers, or at least get a general idea of where to look, and in addition to that, I have a forum to where if they can't find the answers through you know all the things that I have available on the website, they can ask their questions on our forum, and it's not just me. But a lot of really great people have, have come there and, and contributed to that. And it's become a place where a lot of people are getting help. 
I just, uh, for, I'm, just, for the I'm laughing thing. because I can imagine you opening up your email and you get an email from some guy in Ireland that says, "Hey, Eric, I got some clunking in my in the back of my car. It's going kink, 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 kink." That, is, kink, that kink. is not far from the truth. I mean, all <laughs> over the world, it, it's just bizarre. The emails I get in the places they're from. I mean, they're uh, the Philippines. I, I was surprised with all the stuff I got from the Philippines. What kind of cars uh, are they driving over there? Has been USA made vehicles or what? What's the what's they, the? They've got. They've got some. They've got some different things over there. They're they're just you know. There's still some. Um, you know, honestly, I'm not sure. Mm. You know, sometimes. But, well, look. Uh, I, I listen. I wish you the best. I'm going to have you on again. I want to. I want to see how you're faring in six months from now. Uh, but, you know. And uh, it's good for everybody to go stop by, learn a couple things, and he's easy and approachable, and he just makes things so easy for you. You could, you could listen. You could spend thousands of dollars going to a technical school to sit and watch two to three hours of what this guy's doing and learn quite a bit. So I want to just tell you, I appreciate what you do. Well, thank you, thank you very much for that, George. I, I appreciate this very much. Anytime, Eric. Listen. We will talk to you again. Don't forget, www.youtube.com, and then I guess it's uh, Eric the Car Guy, right? EricTheCarGuy.com, that's it. <clears throat> Greetings. Give me the opening line that you do. I want it live. Give me that opening line you do. I want it live right now. Greetings, viewers. Eric the Car Guy here. We're hanging out fixing something today. Stick around. <laughs> no, that's not what you say. You didn't Boy, do- Well, you talking about the, the lead out or the lead in? The lead in. The lead in? Yeah. Greetings, viewers. Eric the Car Guy here. Uh, I don't know what I say after that. <laughs> you <laughs> say, sort of depends. You say, it's like, it depends on what I'm doing. I never, you know, whatever's in front of me. With that's another what I'm doing. exciting video. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, I'll talk to you later, all right? All right, sorry uh, I botched that. No, you didn't botch it. We'll talk to you soon. All right, stay there.